While tech companies are continuing their timeline, even with a global pandemic disrupting manufacturing, shipping, and consumer buying habit, but things are not going so well for one company in particular. With being put on the entity list, Huawei was banned from doing business with US companies. This effectively barred Huawei to work with Google. As a result, Huawei phones were no longer to receive GMS, including Play Store and feature Android updates. Even after that, Huawei continued to release their phones. US policymakers were looking for ways to strengthen the ban and extended the ban for another year. And it seems like the US has finally been able to land the biggest punch on Huawei, which could turn catastrophic for the company. Taiwanese chipmaker Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company has cut off access to Huawei and is not taking any new orders from the company in support of the new regulations by the US. The US Department of Commerce banned the use of American technology to manufacture chips has forced the Taiwanese company to stop taking orders from its Chinese client. There is no smartphone without a chipset. High-tech semiconductor business requires billions of dollars in investment and technical know-how to make chipsets. There are very few foundries that have the combination of both, along with the profit outlook stretching to decades. TSMC is one of that foundry. Being one of the largest manufacturer of chipsets, not only Huawei is a major smartphone manufacturer, but it also makes a big portion of the world's telecommunication network. Huawei also makes chips for data centers and cloud computing. While Huawei does design their own chips, but to manufacture those chips, they are dependent on TSMC. In fact, Huawei is TSMC's second largest client after Apple and was responsible for about 10 to 15% of the company's business in 2019. But with the US ban further extending to the use of American technology to manufacture chips, both Huawei and TSMC are going to suffer from a huge blow. While TSMC will lose a huge client and business with this development, but they have nothing else to do but follow US regulation if they do not want to face the US wrath. The company also indicated that it will not exploit any apparent loopholes in the latest US restrictions and comply with Washington's intention. However, Mark Liu, TSMC chairman, said that the company will apply for a US government license to continue shipping to Huawei and its subsidiaries. Although it seems TSMC is not going to be hurt too much as CEO CC Wei remarked that the supply chain will adjust. This means TSMC is going to fill up the void by taking orders from other companies. If Huawei can produce their chips, they can't sell their technology. And if end customers don't buy from Huawei, they'll find someone else. And those alternative supplier is going to turn to TSMC for chips. So far, Nokia, OIJ, and Ericsson AB will replace Huawei in networks. Meanwhile, in smartphones, other Chinese brands could turn to TSMC. Even though TSMC can recover from the loss of its second biggest customer, this new ban is going to be a punch to Huawei's gut. Something may take time to recover from. With essentially no chip, they can't make any products for any market. However, Huawei has options as well. They could wait for TSMC to get a license from the US to produce chips for Huawei. But that seems extremely unlikely as the US government is hell-bent on dismantling Huawei's business. On the other hand, Huawei could try to produce their own chipset. However, as I have mentioned earlier, producing chips is not an easy task. A company not only needs to invest billions of dollars in machinery and skilled labor, but also needs to have the technical know-how in manufacturing chips. Though money is not an issue for Huawei, however, the technological know-how does not come overnight or can be bought. Manufacturing chips also require a lot of money to invest in research and development, so the company also needs to have a profit outlook stretching to decades. Without such a profit outlook, R&D won't be possible. In other words, trying to manufacture their own chips would have more financial drawbacks. Instead, buying chipsets would be way cheaper. Samsung SLSI could be another alternative for Huawei to produce their chipsets. However, the South Korean manufacturer is heavily invested in the US market, 
for most of its products. So it's unlikely for Samsung to help Huawei and take the risk of running afoul of US regulations. Thus, the only option left for Huawei is to bet on homegrown talent. The Chinese government is pouring a lot of money into local manufacturers so that they can have their own technology and don't need to depend on the technology of the West. Government in China recently provided $2.2 billion into building out Shanghai-based Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corp, or known as SMIC. However, SMIC is several years behind TSMC and Samsung in technology as it is just now commercializing the 14 nanometer FinFET node, while TSMC and Samsung are manufacturing 7 nanometer chips and looking at 5 nanometer. And even with Chinese government funding, there is no real timeline as to when SMIC will be able to switch to 7 nm or even 5 nm process. So as you might have already got the gist of our today's video, Huawei is doomed, at least for the moment. As a technological company and the world's second largest smartphone manufacturer, Huawei adds a lot of value to the customers and the market with its fierce competition. Hopefully, Huawei can find itself a suitable partner to manufacture their chips or TSMC would be at least able to get a license from the US authority to make chips for the Chinese giant. So that's all for our today's video. So that sums up our video for today. If you like this video, then hit the like and share with your friends. Comment below to let us know your thoughts. Consider subscribing to this channel if you want to see more videos from us and press the bell icon to get notified for our next video.